Hi, good evening. Miriam from North Vancouver. Welcome to my home and tonight I am going to prepare this entree that my guests are going to just love. It's called Apple Date Stuffed Tenderloin. And it's one of those dishes you can do ahead of time and you can just pop it in the oven as they arrive and when you're ready to eat. Let me tell you about the stuffing. It is a combination of onions, walnuts, apples, um, rosemary, dates, it's got one egg in it, and some sage. Now you, bl you put that in the processor, you blend that all up, and it comes out like this. It's a beautiful, it's a paste more than anything. A paste, and then you, um, you have that set aside until you prepare your tenderloin. Now your tenderloin is really an interesting animal, and when, you, when you've rolled it up, it looks like this. It looks like that. And see the inside when I've rolled it up? I'll tell you about that as well. It is fabulous. So what I do is I put my tenderloin out on the board and I pound it out with a pot because I don't have a mallet. I slit, the tenderloin comes around, so I slid it down the center very gently, pound it out, and then I even it up because I want it kind of like a rectangle. So I take those out and those little bits that you don't that you um, don't need go into your gravy to make the luscious gravy that I'm making right now on the stove, which I'll tell you about in just a second. So I pounded out my, my tenderloin. On top of that, I spread one half of a cup of cream cheese right on the top. It just goes right on the top of the, of the tenderloin. It's absolutely perfect. So then on top of that, I'm going to add prosciutto, which I've got in the fridge. So my prosciutto goes next after my cream cheese. You just take it out and you add the four luscious strips of prosciutto, which is the lean. It's lovely, it's like this. Beautiful, it gives it a great taste. On top of that, so it's cream cheese prosciutto. Now goes my stuffing and I arrange my stuffing in a log. And it does really look like this in, on the inside of the tenderloin when you're ready to sear it like that. It's perfect. And on top of that, I put olives. So I line the top with olives. And so when you cut in, these just the stuffed green olives are fine. But you don't need any other kind. Of. Sicilian olives are good too, or even black olives would work as long as they're pitted. Then I roll it up and I, I tie it with twine to keep it together. Because if it's not together, the chances of it falling apart are quite great. So And I do want to, so about four ties. You take your hot pan and you sear it really hot for about five minutes total on each side. And then you pop it in your oven. That's how easy it is. So this is ready to go in the oven. Now, what I've done with the pan, what I've done with the pan that um, I seared my meat in, is I've put in here, I've put in here um, half a cup of wine, a cup of stock and half a cup of cream cheese. Now this is turned into a beautiful luscious creamy gravy which is amazing and so tasty and that's going to go on top of my tenderloin. I'll show you that. Meanwhile on the stove I have my spinach wilting. It's absolutely perfect. It's going to be so delicious. So I'll show you a little trick. I'm going to take my, I'm going to take my strainer because I don't want any lumps in my gravy. So here's my bowls. Here's my bowl. So I'm going to take my gravy now and just pour it into the strainer. Another thing that would be very good with this gravy, you could, you could also add mushrooms would be amazing. If you sauteed your mushrooms first, and then added your cream cheese, and then your white wine, and then your stock. It would be absolutely luscious, for sure. So that's a really good way to um, get the lumps out of your gravy. Oops, whoops. Back, back. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Now, my pork tenderloin comes out of the oven. It's so tasty. And it's ready. It's almost
almost ready to plate. So at this point, you can actually now snip the um, string that you tied your pork tenderloin up with. So I'm going to pick it up, put it on my board. It's luscious. Look at how beautiful it looks inside. Oh, it's just, it's lovely. It's divine. So, but before I cut it, I am going to, um, before I snip the, the, um, the string, I'm just going to cut it first and plate it on the spinach first. So here we have our plate for plating. I've got my nice platter here. And my spinach is ready to go. Beautiful. going to wipe this up a bit. Alright, so there's my spinach ready to go. Now I'm going to take my tenderloin and just cut it into about three, um, this one and two and this one and three because they're different sizes. Oops, it's hot. Where's my tongs? There they are. Really short knife here. So I'm just going to cut the tenderloin and then snip the string and plate it. It's, it's perfect, actually. This is a great dish if you're going to, uh, if you've got friends who are real meat eaters. My daughter was coming over, this wouldn't fly, but as I said, she's not a, she's definitely not a meat eater. So snip off the string. They're so dull. I don't know why how come they're so dull. Never fails when you want something to work out perfectly. Something always happens, doesn't it? There we go. And this last one. String off and onto the dish. There we go. Now comes my gravy. My luscious gravy. Where's my spoon? Now I'm just going to spoon my gravy over to the center of this. Oh, that's just beautiful. There we go. And there we have it, my pork, my pork stuffed tenderloin. Isn't that beautiful? And that's on a bed of wilted spinach. And there we have it. So thank you for joining me. And um, I'll talk to you later. Have a good evening. Bye.